Okay, made the rounds today. Picked up a few things at the flea market. First off, are these two radios from around 1946. Both of them are just standard all-American five-tube AM radios. The top one is a clarion in a painted Bakelite case. The bottom one is a Watterson. It's in a wooden case. It's obviously been painted. Clarion was a was a brand used by Warwick Manufacturing Company. I think Warwick is best known for building electronics for Sears Roebuck. And the Watterson Radio, they marketed their sets mainly to rural markets and a lot of their models were battery operated. It's a brand you don't see much of, so I'm going to try to try to restore that radio even it even though it is in rough shape. They wanted 30 for the Clarion and 20 for the Watterson, but I ended up giving them 35 for both of them. And then I picked up this old metal floor fan. It's a Citation Imperial sold by Western Auto Stores. And according to the model number, it's from 1970, and I believe it was made by Bursted Manufacturing Company. It runs, but it needs to be taken apart, cleaned, and lubricated. But it's a nice little fan, just a single speed fan with the off on switch here on the back of the motor. And then in the music department, I picked up these 45s and this one album. I'm not really much into country music. I like some of it, but I'm more into rock, pop, soul, R&B, oldies from the 50s through the late 70s, early 80s. But I did pick up this Loretta Lynn album and this stack of 45s here for a quarter a piece which is not too bad considering what most clowns are charging for these things now most of this is stuff from the late 50s through the late 70s with a few early 80s things thrown in there I usually buy these 45s when I find them reasonable enough, especially if it's something I'm interested in. I think I'm up close to probably 6,045s now. But anyway, there's my flea market finds for today. Hopefully, one day in the near future, you'll see some of this stuff in operation. Thanks for watching, and more to come later.